My name is Mario Salamanca. Been living here for all my life. Uh, Pilsen, what, what could I say about it? Uh, there's a lot of good things now that's happening to Pilsen that wasn't happening before. Now there's a buzz about Pilsen that that I, who've lived here all my life, can can understand it. But it's it's moving up. Twelve years ago, when I came here, it was nothing like this. I was the only employee. Now I have 14. I used to stand behind the bar and twiddle my thumbs and watch people go by. In my establishment, it's a it's a coffee house. We're in we're in Pilsen. Uh, we're on the main strip, which is 18th Street. Uh, we've been here for 12 years. We do something different. We serve a variety of coffees, sandwiches. It's a, it's a place where you can come, have a cup of coffee, hang out. Pilsen has always been known as a neighborhood where people people immigrated to. First, back in the early days, it was the Bohemians who came in here, and that's how it got his name, Pilsen. And, uh, and then the Mexicans came in, and they settled in here before 7 o'clock. The streets were kind of quiet. Now there's people all hours of the night here. What is Pilsen? It's somewhere warm where you, everyone just fits fits in. Uh, artists, they just, you know, they, wherever they see somewhere for perfect and they just draw their, their vision, you know. They're very uh, religious. They could be very uh, political. I come down here to work. I don't, I don't live here, but I do work here. People are great. I mean, I see more people on the street that say hi to me here than I do anywhere else in Chicago. I mean, the, mur the mural art tradition is pretty pretty prevalent here. You know, there's a lot of schools and like public buildings with uh, art and there's stuff on the ground you see over there. The, pe the people that have lived here for decades have, have brought a lot of their culture to bear on the neighborhood. It's, it's, it's nice. It's just beautiful. I mean, what, what else can I say? Um, we're in the neighborhood of Pilsen and to be specific, we're in the east end of the neighborhood, um, commonly known as Pilsen East. And many people who are intuitive or outsider artists have flocked here over the years and the second Friday of each month each of these galleries opens up with a new show. Um, I'm an emerging artist and I promote emerging artists. There is an open reception from 6 to 10 p.m. and this is the second Friday of every month and all the galleries here open at during that time. Anybody can come, there's no fee or, or anything so it's open to the public. Artists appreciate art and it's harder for us to buy it. <laughs> So I try to help people out when I can, you know. But yeah, the rich people are buying art. Nuevo Leon Restaurant, El Mariachi Los Palmeros. Yes, my, my name is Danny Gutierrez Jr. I'm the third generation here at the restaurant, Nuevo Leon Restaurant. Um, it's a family owned restaurant here that's been here since 1962. Specialty, uh, we have a uh, very good skirt steak, which is the carne asada that's served with rice, beans, and salad. The thing is, is it's still run by me and my dad. I mean, um, I'm up in front, my dad's still in the bag. We keep an authentic recipe from our grandparents, from our generations back, and we bring it to Chicago. Well, I've been working with here with my fa father for about 17 years now. You see a lot of Mexican artifacts, uh, Mexican culture throughout Pilsen. And there's also a very interesting uh, museum. Well, the museum was actually founded in 1982 by a group of teachers. Even the location, it's, it's almost like the central part of the community. I, I consider it, it's like the heart of Pilsen. There's sculpture, there's painting, um, there's other type of you know in, modern inst uh, contemporary installations, so there's a little bit of everything. 